Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about digital risk protection. What is digital risk protection? You know, about 25 years back uh, when I started doing security, it was known as information security. And rightly so, we were so much focused on information assets, which were all inside the organization. So all the controls we were looking at at that time were all about risks to your information assets, which is inside the organization. Hence, the mitigation controls were all focused inside the organization. But over the last two decades or more, what has happened is that the organization have had a digital phase which has been growing tremendously. So maybe in the very beginning, you had one domain and uh, one internet facing website and not much there. But now the organizations have many domains, multiple hosts, uh, many type of services, ports open to the internet. Plus they're also having a lot of social media profiles. They're having mobile apps. So all of this put together is not anymore your information assets. Rather, I like to call it your digital face. So your digital face is made up of your domains, the DNS records with details of your domains, your digital certificates, all the hosts which are there on your domains, all the technologies and services that are visible, the ports, the platforms which you're using outside your organization. So all of that is your digital face. The issue is, most of the organizations today do not have an inventory of that digital face. So hence the DRP starts with saying that the first thing is generate an inventory of all your digital face, continuously monitor to keep on maintaining that inventory because the inventory will keep on changing. Technologies change very fast. So first piece is generate that inventory Onwards, next, what you need to do is to identify the weakness in your digital face and continuously monitor for that weakness and fix that weaknesses. So this is the second piece. The third piece of digital risk protection is that appreciate the aspect that the hacker or a threat actor, they could be putting together a parallel digital face looking like yours. It could be a lookalike domain. It could be a lookalike social media profile. They could be impersonating your CEO or your board member. So now you have to continuously monitor the internet, identify the threat actor and all kinds of the pieces which they're putting together anywhere across the internet and shut them down. Once you have all of these three pieces together, that is what will be termed as digital risk protection. Thank you.